Hello friends! Today I am going to show you how to mend a hole in a crocheted sweater. Let me get started with something else first. Hi guys! If you're new here, I'm Laura. This is the Last Minute Laura channel and when you come here you can usually find me making something or doing something crafty. Today we're doing a little mending. So for this project, if you've got a hole in any of your knit or crochet sweaters, this looks to be some moth damage. We have some ways that we can do some visible mending. I'm going to do visible mending rather than trying to hide the, uh, the problem. I'm going to just highlight it and make it a little bit uh, more interesting, I think. So what I'm going to do first is, hmm, I think first I should seal off that the yarns around the edges here just so that they are not going to loosen any further. For this project, if you're doing something similar, you'll need yarn, the same kind of yarn you used for the project. So this is Briggs and Little Regal Wool. I only have a little bit left in a small variety of colors. So I'm going to start with the purple and I'm just going to Maybe I'll start a little farther away. I'm going to just go through the stitches along the edge of that hole until we are well past the hole. Good. I'm going to pull that through. Give a nice tail. And then I'm going to weave the same idea, but we're going to go down a couple of rows instead of um, across the stitches. And then I'll pull that through. Then I'm going to go down these stitches again. And then last, I'm going to go back up, up and down the rows here, just to create some stability for that hole, because we don't want that to keep stretching out and causing damage. Actually, now I'm going to tie that off, that first rectangle. I'm going to tie that off just so that that is nice and secure. We have a couple of options. We could do a blanket stitch around these open ends or we can completely patch the hole. And I think I want to do the patching method. So for that, I am going to bring my needle from the bottom here. I'm going to go all the way to the top past where the damage is. And I'm going to loop through a couple of loops there. And then we'll pull that so it's nice and loose. And then I'm going to come back down and around here I'm going to do the same thing. Flatten that out and we'll come back up. I'm just going to go up and down like this around where the damaged area is. I'm going over it with my yarn until I get all the way across. And there we go. And now I'm going to go back and I'm going to just weave in and out of these damaged stitches, stitches again. This is not going to be part of the patching, this is just going to add a little bit more structure underneath the patching. So these straight lines are going to um, create a patch that covers the hole, but I do also want to create a little bit more stability. So I'm going to just go over the work I've already done, just weaving through that damaged area. There we go. Try and catch that little stitch. A 
Apparently keeping your wool items in a cedar box can help with moth damage. I've never had moth damage before, so I didn't know that. But there's a fun fact for any of you who have wool items that you store for a period of time. This was in a closet over summer and it appears to have not liked living in the closet. But the moths seemed to have liked it. And there we go. So that's the step one, getting the patch covered. I think I'm gonna go a little farther down this side. And there we go. So there's my first color. And now I'm going to, I'll leave that tail just in case. I'm going to use, I think I'll use white because these colors seem a little bit too harsh with my sweater, whereas white I think will look nice and cute and clean. And what I'm gonna do with the white, since the main mend is pretty much completed. I know it looks loose, but it's because it's crocheted work. I'm going to do two strands of yarn for the white yarn because I think that will look good with the, um, with the half double crochet that this sweater is made out of. If you like repair videos um, like this one or for repairing crochet, I've got another one in the works right now where I'm having to almost take apart an entire sweater. So uh, <laughs> if that sounds up your alley, definitely subscribe and stick around. Okay, so I'm gonna start way up here so I can weave my tail secretly without it being too noticeable. And then I'm going to just start weaving around and at the end of the little row, I'm going to stick it down, bring it back up on the next stitch. Pull that all through. This might be harder than I thought to keep it all nice and flat and straight. Okay, and now we're gonna go the other way with the weaving. All right, starting to look a little bit more patched up. There we go. Almost done with this patch. Like, it's not gonna be perfect, but I'm not really worried about that. I'm kind of interested in just increasing the longevity of this sweater and also showing what it's been through. That's what I like about the visible mending is that you can see the stuff that's happened to your garment over time. I don't know, I think it's kind of neat. You can see that your garment has had a life. All right, that's nice and secure. But for a little bit of extra security, I think I'm gonna go up and down with the white as well. Just loosely through each stitch all the way around. This is my first time mending knitwear and I did not watch any tutorials in advance, but I still think this came out great. I think this is working out just fine. 
So my recommendation to you is just jump into it and fix that old sweater with a hole in it. This sweater is not even that old, but it did get a hole, so just by weaving back and forth through the already existing stitches. Same as how you would mend a sock, but instead of a sock, it's a sweater. I hope this is helpful for somebody or inspiring. I hope it inspires you to take a second look at some of the clothes that you might not wear anymore because they have a hole somewhere in them. Fix the hole! But fix it obviously so that it looks like art instead of like you were trying to hide that you fixed it. Okay, so now I'm going to, maybe I'll just do one more round of weaving around the whole project so that it has a nice straight border. Okay, and last one. Maybe I went a little far, but that's okay. There we go. Now we can trim that and we could trim that. And then I'm just gonna put the white yarns through the back. Ta-da, visible mend. The sweater is fixed. I'll show you way up close. So you remember there was a nice big hole there. Let's flip it upside down so we could see what the inside looks like. Let's try to flip it inside out, huh? It's a little tight to do on the sleeve. But you can see the hole is still there, but we've stitched all through it and around it, so it can't come apart anymore. Even if these get looser, there's stitches all through and around that are going to keep it from causing any trouble. What I'm going to do is just weave the same weave here until I'm back at the beginning. Then I'm going to just tie off that yarn. You could weave in your ends, but... I don't care, I'm the only one that wears this, so <laughs> loose ends on the inside is fine. Turn that back out. Ta-da! A perfectly visibly mended sweater. And this can be added to when you have better skills, or you can change it up when you have better skills. But I think that's all. That's it for today, what did you think? A quick and easy one, but Something interesting nonetheless, and also something important. Fix your stuff, you don't have to throw it out. Even if it comes out looking a little wonky like this, it's still gonna hold your sweater together and it's gonna look cool as part of the life of the sweater. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe to the channel. Join us. We have a great community here. I live stream Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays from 9 a.m. till 1 p.m. That's four hours, four times a week. So you can come by anytime you want for a chat, to talk about what you're working on, to ask questions, all kinds of stuff. It's a great community. If that's not your thing, I do put out tutorials on Tuesdays. They can be crochet related, natural dye, um, embroidery, sewing, all kinds of stuff. Mostly fiber crafts, but other stuff too. So definitely subscribe and like the video if you liked this video. <laughs> and uh, give me a comment on what you want to see next. What do you want me to fix next? I can fix something else. Anyway, thank you so much to my patrons for supporting me on Patreon. If you would like to support me and this channel, the link is in the description box down below. I would really appreciate it. It's two bucks a month and you get access to the Discord server where you can chat outside of the live streams and outside of the videos with friends and ask questions and post what you're working on and all kinds of stuff. You also get all of my bullet journal patterns like little baby pants or the winter bonnet. These go for patrons. So if that sounds interesting, definitely check it out. Thanks for watching. Bye.